at the end of the day, here in uh, Las Vegas, I ran 19 laps or 95 miles. Here uh, in New Jersey, that was my first real stuff mutter, and I hit 100 miles, and I was pretty stoked about that. Um, on a much flatter course, though. Uh, and then I came out here, and I knew the train was quite a bit tougher, but I also thought, well, knew I was better prepared for it. And, um, but it was a wild race because it kind of went out from the gun and there was the first six or eight hours there was Pac and there was uh, Nicodemus and we were all they were all just kind of the two of them were kind of on my tail like right there the whole time and I could just see them you know five minute ten minute gap 15 minute gap like not very much so and I was going pretty hard just lap 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 so it was a pretty furious pace, and um, so yeah, the mileage ended up being pretty high. Uh, I probably could have done another lap at the end, but I was just so, sh my legs were so shredded from all the hills and stuff, and I uh, decided to just relax a bit at the end there. Um, running the world's toughest mudder is, I don't know if it's more mental or more physical, but it's a heck of a challenge in both ways. Um, probably depends who you are and how you run your race, but for me, yeah, just a crazy hard mental challenge and a crazy hard physical challenge.